All right, here we are at the Mackenzie Mountain Wilderness area. I'm gonna check out a hike up Mackenzie Mountain and to Moose Mountain, which is about three miles past that. I haven't been able to find much information on it, but we're gonna check that out today. Here we are, we're getting close to the trail split with a haystack mountain. Trail's pretty gradual right through here. Really nice, nice streamer along here. Making pretty good progress, good day out. And here we are at the trail split. And make sure you catch this trail split. It's a little tough to find if you're keeping an eye on your footing because it's finally way up in the tree. It's on Haystack Mountain. Go to the left. Mackenzie, keep going to the right. Alrighty, coming up on the jackrabbit trail. Making pretty good time here. I'm, I'm taking a long way up. Nowadays, a lot of people use this trail to get the Mackenzie uh, Moose Haystack Mountains. That goes down that way toward Lake Placid. It's a ski trail in the winter. Keep going that way up to Mackenzie. That way over to uh, Saranac Lake, Haystack Mountain, the short way. So we just came uh, 3.6 miles so far from Route 86. And about a mile and a half left to go to Mackenzie Mountain Summit. Here we are, probably about a quarter mile past the Jackrabbit Trail. Once you get to this part, this is where it starts getting steep for about the next half mile, three quarters of a mile. But we are getting pretty close to the summit. Can't hold on to the camera here too long in some of this. Kind of slippery on some of this mud. Pretty good hike so far. This is not the summit right here. seem like it let's get some amazing views up here and what we will be doing we'll be hiking over that little spot right there down and then up to the true summit over there. And there's the first summit, I'm part way up almost to the summit of Mackenzie in a couple minutes. Looking over there, there's the lookout that we stopped by about 12 minutes ago. Here we are at the Kenzie Mountain Summit. 
couple lookouts. There's one right back there and one right over here. But first, we'll get up here to the summit. There it is. I'm here two and a half hours it took to get up here. Not too shabby. Now time for a little break. I got my sandwich, so all I've got is cliff bars and energy chews. So when I get back done with this, that'll make dinner so much better. right before the summit our nice lookout looking over Saranac Lake which I think is actually the better of the two definitely the better of the two Okay, headed down from Mackenzie Mountain out toward Moose Mountain. I didn't see a sign saying how many miles it is from when I've been able to find out it's about three miles. So, check this trail out. Not a whole lot of information out there on this section of trail. Okay, we have 2.9 miles to Moose Mountain from here. We're just down from the summit of Mackenzie. Trails are kind of faint. Also a trail that goes down toward Lake Placid this way. But we are gonna follow this trail, hopefully to Moose Mountain. Um, how good a time I'm going to make through this trail. I'm not sure if uh, too many people use this trail. Let's keep my eyes out and can see where the trail is, but it's not very well traveled. And definitely not a very well traveled trail. There's a lot of blow down, uh, some of the uh, trail markers to help out along the way. The trail is pretty faint. All right, I'm still on the trail. As I'm slow going because this is what a lot of the trail looks like. A lot of blow down and vague trails. If you're not one that's very good at following trails and something of that nature, uh, you might want to go with somebody else or get a little more practice. You definitely want to map and everything with you, of course, either way. Uh, I believe I'm almost halfway from Mackenzie Mountain to Moose Mountain at this point.
and yet another spot where we have to crawl on the ground. One of many. Okay, here we are at a trail junction. Tells me uh, 1.35 miles to Moose Mountain from here. 1.75 back to Mackenzie from here. Mackenzie's going back up that way over the ridge. Moose Mountain's over this way. 1.3 miles we have to go. Getting there. Still lots of blow down. Sometimes a hard trail is hard to follow. Uh, we're now uh, 0.7 miles from Moose Mountain. This trail is definitely challenging, but very interesting. Very remote and rarely traveled. looking for something different from your usual busy trails this is probably the one for you and we are now uh, just below the summit of Moose Mountain I'm looking across over towards Mackenzie Mountain that comes down quite a ways and along this ridge and over to that little hill there. Down behind us over there where we can't see, down to a valley. And up and over to here. That's quite a distance. A lot of up and down, a lot of blow down. So instead of going that back that way, decided to continue across the top. And just come down the other way. Coming up this mountain, there's just so much blow down, and I wasn't able to take too much video through there. Crawling under logs, over logs, through the blow down. Every once in a while, we get a good stretch of trail like this. Here it is Moose Mountain Summit. Not a lot of views, but Really good views of Lake Placid here. I really am up here. snack and something to eat, something to drink. I'm going to head on down the other side. This trail will take us down toward Lake Placid and there's a trail that winds along there. And then we'll come out on a road and that'll go back around to the other side of Mackenzie Mountain there. Okay, coming off of uh, Moose Mountain. Right off of the summit there's a trail split. You can go left, head down to one of these uh, places, but we're not going to go that way. It's a little bit longer, not too much. We are going to go instead to the right. I heard there's a lot of blow down this trail, but after what we just went through, we'll probably be okay. Mock uh, Bonnie Junction, Two Brooks Junction. Lake Trail, and we'll go down this way. I'm going to go down to the uh, Two Brooks Trail Junction and then hang a left down to Lake Trail and then on out.
trail junction. It runs 2.2 miles to the lake trail. It'll be down this way. Or here's a side trail over to Loch Bonnie. Uh, we'll continue down here and work our way on out of here. This trail looks pretty good so far, but a lot of blowdown. I think from what little research I could find, uh, it gets better after that blowdown back there. So we'll see. So we got a little faint here, kind of mixed with a stream for a little bit. Start seeing all this uh, maple hosing through the woods here and starting to wonder if I got off track, but still on the right trail. Okay, lake trail, half a mile. Pretty close. Or oh, we can go back up the McKenzie Summit, down the other side. I think I'll pass on that for today. And coming up on the lake road trail. Uh, 0.4 miles to the road. Another sign for their locations around here. And where the uh, lake road trail Goes off too further on. So we go this way, 0.4 miles to the road. And then we do our trail, and we just walk around long road to the car. And yeah, the lake trail is pretty faint. A few little white discs, but it's kind of hard to pick out along here. sign up here that indicates the trail. Yeah. So it starts pretty much at the end of this road here. Okay, so that's my trail. The trail does let out right by the road. There's really no signs pointing you over this way to let you know the trail goes up this way. So if you come from the other direction, something good to know, otherwise you'll end up on some private property over there. And there we are back on the road. At the, uh, this side of the road, there's no trespassing signs. <clears throat> Big old fancy gate. Here we 
here are at the Jackrabbit Trail. That's pretty much where I guess where the parking is to get to this end of the uh, trail that goes up to Moose Mountain and Loch Bonnie and those places. I just passed the Jackrabbit Trail. Blodgett Road on the left. Oh, here we got trail to Bartlett, Palm, Mackenzie Mountain, Loch Bonnie, and Moose Mountain here on Blodgett Road. Private property along here, so no going over there. No parking along the road. It's only maybe a quarter mile to get to this gate and can't go any further that way. So it's a no trespassing signs, private property, so apparently trailheads right here. Goes up into the woods. 